Let's show a couple of adapters, and then we'll do some quizzing. We'll quiz you on some of the connections and connectors out there. So we'll start with a couple of the adapters that they talk about on the A plus objectives. And the first of which is video. And so I've got a lot of stuff here. We'll start with DVI to VGA. This is a DVI to VGA adapter. And so here we have our DVI dual link connection. And VGA on the other side, that's 15 pin SVGA, three rows of five pins. So let's say that you had a DVI output from the video card on your computer, but your monitor only had a VGA input. Well, then this is what you would use. You'd connect this to your video card. And then on the other end, you'd connect a VGA cable, one end here and the other end to the monitor. So a typical, typical type of video adapter there and let's say same type of computer you had a dvi output but let's say your monitor only had an hdmi input well we could do that also this is dvi dual link see how the pins are filled in there and then we have a female hdmi on the other end So we would just use our typical HDMI cable and connect one end here and the other end into the monitor. There are video adapters for all this. If you want to go to DVI to HDMI, HDMI to DVI, DVI to VGA, and so on. Now, if you do something like HDMI to DVI, then the ports would be switched. The DVI would be female and the HDMI would be male. And, uh, at that point, what you have to remember is HDMI can send video and audio, but DVI normally doesn't. So if you do something like that, where you have an HDMI out and you want to go into DVI, then you'd have to also run an audio cable, an eighth inch or a 3.5 millimeter uh, connection or something. There's plenty of audio adapters as well. It all depends on what you want to connect to. It could be that you need to take a signal from HDMI or from DVI or S-Video here and send it out to the computer via USB. So you'd use a capture box like this. Or maybe you need to split the signal. Maybe you have DVI and you need to split it to two separate monitors or a monitor and a TV or something like that. Uh, so we have an input for DVI here and we have two outputs. Now, generally you want a powered splitter for this type of thing, if, especially if you're gonna run any type of distance or if you, you need a quality signal. So for example, we have this cable here, which is a DVI splitter, but uh, generally these do not work as well. These are passive, they don't use any AC power. So generally what you're gonna want is something that is AC powered something that you have a uh, DC in, plug it into your AC outlet and uh, power that connection. So you can get higher resolutions over longer distances and a quality signal. Here's an HDMI splitter. Here's the input and the two outputs. And this one is also powered. And something else I've used a lot is uh, this little cable. USB-C to a female HDMI to allow for connections out to a video system or to a monitor. So that's very common with today's smartphones and other mobile devices, uh, especially Android based. If you want to run the video out of there, USB-C to HDMI, that's going to be the adapter for that. But it goes on and on. I mean, there's virtually just every video adapter out there that you can think of. Another adapter that's listed in the objectives is USB to RJ45. That's USB to Ethernet. I'll flip it over. So on the right side here, we have our USB-C connection. And on the left side, we have the Ethernet connection. And that's an RJ45. And that connects out to your network and has LEDs for link lights here. So this is a typical adapter for this. 
And it could be a USB type B connector. So you could go out from a laptop or PC. In this case, this is USB C. So you could go out from a mobile device. I actually use this with the video station and it converts over to ethernet. Instead of using wireless, you're going to wired format. This also happens to have USB 3.0 type A ports, uh, two ports for that. You can tell it's 3.0 or higher because it's blue here. So that's another type of adapter, USB to Ethernet. And like I say, it just goes on and on. When it comes to USB, you can go forever with this. This is a USB micro USB on the right side to a female type A USB, right? All kinds of adapters here. In your kit, you should have, you should definitely have something like this. This is a lightning connector. Have an extra lightning connector around. Right side here, that's the lightning connector for uh, Apple iPads and iPhones. And on the left side, you just got the typical type A USB. It could be that you need to adapt from a USB connection to an older keyboard and mouse, All right? An older keyboard and mouse here. And this uses the old PC99 coloring scheme where we have PS2 connectors for older keyboards and mice, purple for keyboard, green for mouse, and then just connect that to your USB on your computer if you have older keyboards and mice. Now, in another video, we mentioned uh, this adapter here, RS-232, serial connection to USB, type A connector. Well, here's another type of connection that we have. This is another RS-232. This is female, though, 9-pin. And that would connect to the actual port, an actual serial port of a computer. And then here we have an RJ45, right? So we have the RJ45 to go out to the network. You could use these to connect to console ports on routers if you have a serial port on your computer. But you'll notice that this adapter that we were showing, this is actually a male connection. So you wouldn't connect this directly to the serial port, you would connect this to the device. This would go to the computer, this would go to the device or the modem or whatever. Okay, so it just goes on and on. There's so many connectors and adapters out there. Just about anything you can think of, there's an adapter for it. So let's do a couple uh, little quiz here. I'm going to show a port or connector, and I'll give you two seconds to blurt out the answer, and you can always pause the video if you wish to. And we'll start with this. What connector are we looking at here? And SATA is correct. If you look here, you'll see we have the seven pin connector with the notch. That's an SATA connector. What do we have here? And correct answer is this is an ethernet patch cable but the exact type is a crossover cable. You can see on the left connector, we have green pins on the left. And on the right connector, we have orange pins on the left. So we know we're going from 568A to 568B. Crossover cable. Uh, this one is, usually they're labeled. If you look at them, this one is CAT5E. You can see that there, CAT5E, but it's crossover cable. What type of connector? This is an IDE ribbon cable, a 40 pin IDE ribbon cable. And you would, when you used to connect these, you'd use the stripe, the stripe meant pin one. And that would go to pin one on say, the motherboard when you connect it or on the hard drive. What are we looking at here? And this is an adapter 
It's a USB adapter, and it allows for SD cards and micro SD cards. So we can move data from cameras and other devices. What are we looking at here? Two USB ports, 3.0 or higher. The SS shows us super speed. And the blue tells us it's 3.0 or higher. That was part of our adapter for USB-C over to RJ45. What are we looking at here? And this is DVI. This particular adapter does DVI-I, so it could do digital or analog. Generally, it's going to be digital. And it's also a dual link because the pins in the center are filled in. If there was no pins in the center here, then it would just be DVI single link. Generally, you want dual link. And what is this connector? And that is HDMI, your standard HDMI. And what are we looking at here? This is a USB connector. This is type B. And a lot of devices will use type B, devices like printers, or a device like this where we're capturing video from either HDMI, DVI, or S-Video, as I mentioned before, and we go out through the Type B USB out to the computer to the Type A connection. Usually this will come with a cable that has Type A on one end for the computer and Type B for the other end. And you'll notice it's blue, meaning we can do that USB 3.0 data transfer and get that 5 gigabits per second, which we really want with video and as little latency as possible. Here's one more. Haven't really covered it much. What is it? And this is an eighth inch or 3.5 millimeter stereo patch cable. And I mentioned before, if we were uh, moving, if we were connecting, say, a laptop and connecting out from the laptop from its HDMI out and had to go to a DVI on a monitor, then we would need to move the audio as well separately. HDMI can normally carry audio, but the DVI may not be able to do that. It probably won't. So we'd probably use this to go out of the line out, out of the headphone jack, that 3.5 millimeter. And this is a stereo cable. And you know it is because we have the two lines here, the two black lines. So that's what we'd use for that. Okay, so cables, connectors, try to take a look around at everything that you have, electronics-wise, audio-wise, video-wise, uh, networking, hard drives, and try to, try to figure out what those connections are. You know, look at everything that you have, any adapters that you might have, and try to figure out all those types of connections and what you're actually looking at, what you're dealing with. The more of these ports that you know, and the more of these con the more connectors that you know, the better off you're going to be for the field and for the A-plus exam.